I'm sure that we've all got heroes and heroines in our lives. Someone who inspires us and makes us wish that we could be a little bit more like them. The church also has hero, heroines and heroes, and we call them saints. They also inspire us through their words, through their lives, through their prayers, to live better and holier lives. Mother Teresa of Calcutta is a great modern example of a woman of faith which led to action. Someone whose work has made a real difference to the lives of thousands who have nothing at all, who live on the streets, few, few people care about them, and then they are left to die in the gutters of the world's largest cities. And St Paul is another source of inspiration for us. He lived 2,000 years ago, right at the beginning of the Christian church. We heard a little of his story in the first reading today. He's telling King Agrippa how he first became a follower of Jesus Christ. At first, he hated the Christians. And he was travelling to Damascus in Syria to arrest them and put them in prison. As he was on his way, he tells us, he had a deep experience of Jesus Christ, which caused him to fall on his knees on the ground. And he heard Jesus saying to him three important things. Stand up. I am appointing you as a witness of all that you have seen. Three important things. Stand up. I appoint you as a witness of all that you have seen. And through the words of the Bible today, Jesus Christ is saying these three important things to you this evening. So first, stand up. Jesus calls Saul by his name as he travelled to Damascus. When you and I were baptised, and when we received confirmation, or looking forward to it, Christ the King calls each one of us by our name. He calls us to have a deep friendship with him. He calls us to love and serve him. He calls us, as he called Paul, to change how we spend our time and how we look at our world. Isn't that an amazing truth for us to get our minds around? The king of the universe knows and loves each one of us and cares for us more deeply than we can ever imagine. Personally, by our name, as individuals. And he proved this great love for us when he gave his life for us on the cross and endured death and came to his resurrection. This King of the universe, Jesus Christ, also has great plans for each one of you, for your life, for your future, for your vocation. Just like Mother Teresa, just like Saint Paul. 
So let's look at the second word Jesus addressed to Paul. Stand up was the first one. Now he says, Paul, I am appointing you. I appoint you. So after Paul recovered from his experience, Paul was chosen to go out and to proclaim Christ the King to the people of many different countries in the Roman Empire. Through our baptism, through our confirmation, God gives each one of us a great task to carry out. He appoints us, he chooses us to work with him in bringing the good news of Jesus Christ to others. God chooses us to help others to come close to him and to experience his love for them. God also wants us to listen out for his voice in our lives, just to discover what he might have in store for us. This might be a lifelong vocation to the priesthood, or as a nun or a monk, or to marriage. Or it could be to a particular job, a role or a task that can, only you can do to help the world to become a better and holier place. Like he said to Paul, I choose you, I appoint you. And the third thing that Jesus said to Paul he is also saying to you tonight, he's appointed you to be a witness of all you have seen. Whatever God calls us to do in our lives, what he wants us all to play our part in sharing our faith with others, to show them just how wonderful and beautiful a thing it is to be a Catholic Christian. I think that could feel a bit scary sometimes. It scares me sometimes. Even our friends might not know that we go to church or that we're preparing for confirmation. We might not feel especially holy but you know whatever, God wants you and me to share his truth with others in every aspect of our lives, at home, at school, in our places of leisure, on our phones, in the wider world. God wants us to stand up for the poor in our world. God wants us to stand up for our planet. God wants us to share the richness and the truth of the Mass and the sacraments and the teaching of the Church. For only then will other people come to find Jesus Christ, just like you have. Paul heard a voice saying to him, Stand up, I appoint you, be my witness of all that you have seen. You and I must hear the voice of Jesus Christ tonight as he says to each one of you and calls you by your name. Stand up, I am appointing you, be a witness 
of all that you have seen. May Christ the King help us to listen to these words in our lives and then to respond to them with great generosity. Amen.